Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here, CME 1.9.1 has just released, so I thought what we'd do is take a look at some of the features that should be in it and see how they are working. So remember, this is just a very quick first look and of course we're going to demonstrate Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now some of the features that we're looking for are of course the second gamepad screen which is a huge thing that they've brought in CME 1.9.1, we're looking for save labels and we're looking for photos as well as a few extra features as well. So one thing I will say is I've already built my fresh cache, which it did require a fresh rebuild for whatever reason. I guess they've made some changes to the way that works. Um, okay, so let's, of course, let's turn on fence skip and let's load into the game. And let's see, there you go. We have our save labels. So the save labels are working. So that's the cool, the first cool addition that we can actually say is in place. Now another thing that we're going to look for once we get in game of course is photos. So let's also take a look at that. Now if we go to options we can see that we have the second gamepad view. Now because I'm demonstrating Breath of the Wild then there's no real use for this for the gamepad window but what happens is if I click it then of course it simulates playing on the gamepad and you can just go back and forth as much as you want. So you can do this on a single monitor and of course if you have a second monitor you could go full screen with the gamepad view. Um, one thing you might be interested in, let's bring up task manager okay. So we are using 74% of my CPU, I'm, I have a few different processes going and 98% of my memory. So there's no, de there's no change in what it requires of your system in terms of RAM or CPU. But the thing I'm interested in is if I open and close the gamepad view, does Simu take any more uh, CPU? So let's take a look. We're currently using 60, 61%. If we close the gamepad viewer, does anything change? Uh, not, not really. So it seems as though when it's not doing too much, it doesn't really affect the CPU much at all. Um, of course, like I said, Zelda Breath of the Wild doesn't really use it too much. Other games will use it more. So we can take a look at that more in the future. Anyway, uh, let's close out of the gamepad view and close away from Task Manager. So as you saw, save labels are working. Let me show you that again. If we go to load, there we go. Um, now let's test Let's try, buh, 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 let's try photos, okay. Uh, do we have fence skip on? We do, okay. So not getting the best FPS, but you know, that's my, that's my personal system. Let's take a photo, shall we, and see what happens. Okay, so theoretically, this should save. My personal picture should save and I should be able to look at it. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, where are we going? Album. There you go, people. The pictures are working and of course that should go straight into Hyrule Compendium which is also fixed without the previous fix we used in the past so Compendium works uh, save labels work photos work second gamepad screen works um, if you'd like to read a bit more about the detailed change log I'll provide a link in the description below in terms of the overall impact and overall effect on performance and whatnot. We need a bit more time to test, but this is a quick first look for all of you that are eager to uh, get a hands on, but perhaps aren't patrons. Like I say, it's just come out if you are a patron. Um, let's wait and see what happens, people. So yeah, that's it for now. Complaining Gamer here. Have an awesome day. I'll be back with more 1.9.1 content as soon as possible. Take care and peace out.